The report section of Amazon is where you can get details of the payments to your account and also the performance of your account. It is accessed from reports in the top menu. The first tab is the summary view. This shows a summary of the weekly payments that are being made from the account into the merchant's bank account. This account is being paid weekly. The last weekly payment was this amount here for £11,322. This figure here is the amount of sales that have been made since the last payment but haven't yet been remitted. If we click on one of these figures, we will be taken to the statement view. This shows a summary of the settlement period which was clicked on. So we can see here in this particular settlement period from the 6th to the 13th of January 2021, the net proceeds, that is what was remitted to the bank account, were £11,322. This is sales of 13967 minus expenses, which are 2135 and refunds, 509 And these can be broken, seen broken down here on the right. There's the sales are made up of the product charges, the tax, the shipping, and some other expenses there. And the expenses were the refunds and the Amazon fees. This account is being remitted weekly, but if you need the money more quickly, you can click on request a payment. The transaction view shows you details of your Amazon transactions. You can choose to see all the transactions within a particular statement period, or you can set a custom range. Here we have some orders from today. There's the order ID, product details, charges, any rebates and fees. If we click on the total, we can see details of the order. If it's an FBA order, we'll be able to see details of the FBA fees down here. If we click on the commission, we can see details of the fees. So here it has the fees is 15.3%. That is the referral fee. And we also have over here the sales price and delivery prices, etc. The All Statements tab give you a list of the statements for all the settlements period. Clicking on this will take us to the statement view for that period, which we discussed a few minutes ago. The Disbursements tab shows details of current and previous disbursements. So what this is telling us is the last disbursement was started on the 13th and acknowledged by the bank on the 14th and it was for this amount 11,322 and the one which has been started but hasn't yet been settled is currently at 3,162 but as it hasn't yet been settled that amount will go up. The date range report section contains two types of report. You can download a monthly summary report or a transaction report. The monthly summary report is a PDF document which shows all the income and expenses, transfers and taxes on an account. The monthly transaction report shows all the different financial transactions which have happened on an account. So for example, so if we look at the type column, it shows the different types of transactions here. An adjustment is a financial adjustment to the account, which can happen for a number of reasons. FBA inventory fee is the monthly storage fees for FBA. An order is the revenue from an order. Refund is a funded transaction and transfer is a transfer out from Amazon to the bank account of the merchant. Each order, as you can see, will be on a separate line. The final tab is your advertising invoice history. This shows how much you have been charged for your Amazon sponsored products campaigns. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.